edition of Badass TV and our guest tonight is the Mac Daddy of them all, Mark Morrison. You know what I'm saying? Y'all wondering what these handcuffs are for in Mark's hand. That means when he's in town, handcuff your woman in the house because Mark's coming to get him. You know what I'm saying? Real live players in the house recognize, act like you know what's going down. Ah, badass, boy. What? What? Mac. Mac. Okay, I would like to welcome our special guest tonight, Mark. Hello, Mark. How you doing? How you doing? Just hanging. Just hanging over there yeah. on my left. So, you've been dubbed now the new king of swing in UK. How do you feel about that title? I feel it's incorrect, because we used to be the kings of swing over here, but now we feel like we're the Max of UK soul. Because oh. the Mac is back. Right, and you are that Mac. I'm one of them, yeah. <laughs> right. I like that. That's going down. It's going down, man. Let me get this player. Let me some of this. Like, <laughs> he knows about that. Oh, this Mac and this worldwide. I told you. Well, he might be one of the Macs, but 23 year old Lester Ladd, Mark Morrison, is also a major star. His hit single, Return of the Mac, sold over 600,000 copies. But what is it with him and his trademark handcuffs? Handcuffs. Handcuffs. What's that all about? You were in prison for a while, weren't you? Everybody, I think, has been to prison. But, you know, uh, I've never been to prison. Everybody never been to prison? I've never been to prison. Everybody we hang out with. I've always managed to Everybody's been. No, um, <laughs> I don't really speak about the handcuffs. I mean, some people that know what they're about. I'll be watching the show right now. But you wrote the Mac while you were in prison, no? Yes, yeah, no? I started it in prison. Right. What's yeah. it about? Return well, of the Mac. Tell me a little bit. The song, how mm. I wrote it, was about, it's more like a love relationship. Boy and girl, and he wants to go into a higher elevation, and she has no confidence in her man. So she leaves him for another. He becomes a Mac. She wants him back, but it don't happen like that. Yeah, yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> what happens is, see, you women out there treat us so bad that oh, there's please. nothing else we can do besides get Mackin'. Mark might understand girl trouble, but he doesn't seem to have any problems pulling on stage. The problem is more with his fans trying to pull him off stage in their frenzy to get a piece of the Mac. Tell me this, player. Mm. Is it true that when you be right, you know, representing on the stage, the girls rip your clothes off? Yeah. Can I get down yeah. with some of that? Man? Yeah, I we can. <laughs> well, like literally, like, they rip your clothes off. Well, they tear parts, you know, like the coat. You know, you this like is it? a little bit harder to tear up because this uh. is like velvet, but. And so, do you feel like because you you've reached this position now? I mean, the Mac was just like such an enormous, mega, huge boom in it. Mm. Do you feel that you have any kind of responsibility or? kind of passion to talk about kind of the black cause in that kind of way? Yeah, eventually, you know, I guess the more records I sell, I like to touch those issues, but being my first outing, my first album, you know, I was trying to get established. Mm. Get it kind of easy on this album, talking about love and just what it's like to be 24, black and living in England. Mm. So, you know, the next album I'll probably get a little bit deeper. Mm. Not too deep because I'm not an MP or politician, but I represent. Why not? There you go. I got something to say too now. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's all, nice to meet you. You know it's what nice though? And when you real though, player, it's always gonna come out in whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you ain't necessarily gotta try to make a message. It's just gonna come out. The people on the street, they'll feel what you about. You know what I'm saying? I agree. So don't don't let. This is my message. Don't let people put a burden on you to be do anything you don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? Keep it true to the Mac. All right. So it's really nice to meet you, Mark. Thank you for coming in. Gosh, that's a firm handshake you've got there. Uh, you're going to sing for us again? Yeah. What are you going to sing? A song called Horny. 
Funny. And after the show, me and you gonna go do what we said, you know, try to right. knock some hoes, right? Definitely. Okay. I'll, I'll go, go home and just crochet, you know, like I do. I might have to change, though. I gotta catch up. <laughs> Come and get it. Roses 